Hey Libra, welcome to your reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, look at the other placements. There is someone here I feel who needs to make a decision, and this person could be putting you on hold. Okay. There's someone here who's not being able, who's tired of probably even controlling their emotions is just giving up, okay? Someone could be choosing a new direction, Earth or Libra. Um, tell me more. Tell me more. Empress here. Yeah, see, you're letting go of control issues is what I'm getting a Libra. You're relaxing, you're doing your own thing, you know, you're being very, very abundant. You're getting that glow up is what I'm getting here. For a lot of you, you could be uh, getting very, very independent financially. You could be doing very well from a home-based career. Or you could be just be doing very well career-wise, okay? This is a lot of abundance coming your way, right? But that happens the moment you let something go, you know, the moment you stop trying to control something. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So there could be uh, a situation where there is a lack of stability and security, okay? This could be within your connection here. I'm feeling that there is someone here who you want a commitment with, okay? But that didn't work out and you were trying all this while to control the situation. But I'm getting ultimately you're tired and fed up of dealing with the situation. And you're just like, you know what? <sighs> what? Just breathe in, okay? Breathe in, breathe out. And you're like, you know what? I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to let it flow. No resisting anything. No trying to control the outcome here. No expectations. Just going with the flow, okay? If it's not happening, it's not happening. That's what I'm getting here. This is someone here who you've offered commitment in the past. If you haven't offered commitment, this is definitely someone here who you wanted something more than what they were offering. And uh, this person rejected your offer in the past. Okay. Now this person wants to come back towards you. But the problem here is this person fears rejection. They don't know if you're going to uh, take up that offer or if they don't know if you're going to accept that offer. This person was all this while trying to resist this connection is also what I'm getting. So this could be this person here who's operating more from that ego. This person out here is being quite a coward out here. Okay. So yes. Yeah, so then I'm getting... Why do I just got deja vu? I feel I've done this reading before. Um, okay. So yeah. I feel this is this person out here. Okay. Who is lacking the courage to come towards you. Okay. Uh, because they want to make you this offer, but the kind of vibes that you're giving to this person right now, you're in a very, very high vibration, okay, right now. Because you're just focusing on you, you realize your worth, you realize what you deserve, you realize what you want, and uh, if this person is not ready to give it to you, you're okay moving on, okay. Um, but yeah, this person out here is definitely wanting to give you an offer, okay, they're, but they're just fearing rejection. They don't know if you're, I mean, now they're ready to accept an offer or give an offer, okay, but they just don't know how to, because this person needs to gather the courage to come towards you, okay, which they're not being able to do, they're being a coward, you know, they're kind of being a pussy right now, yeah, this person out here realizes that there was something that was unfair, they realize things weren't balanced here, there was a lack of equal give and take out here, lack of reciprocity is also what I'm getting, you could be dealing with someone who is entertaining others, Okay, once you made this person your priority, this person was entertaining others. If not, this person had a lot of other things as a priority except you. Okay, which is one of the things why they never made this relationship work or why they never made this relationship a priority, just like you did. I think earlier you were being on the uh, driver's seat, you know, trying to control everything, trying to micromanage the entire connection here. Now you're just like, you know what, I'm done. I'm done. This is not what requires my focus. I require my focus. So you're making yourself a priority. Okay. A lot of nurturing and caring, taking care of yourself. You know, I do get no communication. Because, yeah, see, you're very focused on your money right now. You're very focused on your money. You're very focused on your career. Okay. Uh, someone out here could be here. Uh, also, I'm getting here. There could be someone here who's very, very materialistic. Okay. Someone, um, who prioritizes money over relationships okay or someone who prioritizes career or business or whatever it is materialistic things over business over uh, relationships
Yeah. But I do see you, if this is you, I feel that you're very focused on your money, okay? More than money, you're focused on making your stability, you're focused on creating that career here, okay? And if this is the person that you're dealing with, then I feel this person out here is, um, is now um, ready to come towards you with something stable, something long-term, you know? Let's see more cards here. I feel this person now is ready to come towards you. But they just don't know if you're going to take them back. Could have been a while. See, they're not happy without you. They're not happy without you at all. If you're dealing with someone here who's emotionally highly codependent on you. So that's one thing you need to be very, very careful of. So this is someone here who tends to feed off your energy. Okay. So they come in they get the emotional happiness that they want they don't want to be vulnerable they don't want to be open to you they don't want to be emotionally available they take everything that they want from your cup and then they leave and then they leave you drained okay which keeps you in this point of dissatisfaction which leaves you in this point of where you didn't get what you deserve you didn't get the love the attention that you deserved all this while okay that's why it's been an equal that's that's why it's been um, a lack of equal give and take all this while because you've been dealing with takers okay someone has taken more than they could give in this connection here and now you're just loving yourself that's what's happening here first you used to love them and give them your all okay because you probably were very insecure that this person would leave but now you don't have any insecurity issues now you're just like abundant you know it's like i got everything that i that i need and because your focus is completely uh, over this person, okay, and now it's on you, that's when this person feels in this this energy, a very low vibration. That's why they're not being able to stand up and uh, boss up. See, there's so much of lack of clarity, a uh, lack of uh, clarity out here. This is someone here who's going through a lot of depression is also what I'd say. But a lack of optimism in this relationship is what is there, okay? Someone's not being able to think positively, not being able to look at the positives of this uh, relationship or how things can work out. This could be you, Libra, okay, who's focusing on the negative. But honestly, I don't think it's you because you're in a very good energy. Here. This is definitely the person you're dealing with, okay? Because see, throughout the spread, I see a lot of realizations more than actions from this person's side, okay? This person definitely needs to make a choice here, okay? They need to make a choice about whether they want a deeper commitment with you or not. Because this relationship could be something that started off with physical attraction, starting off with a lot of passion here, okay? And once you guys were, uh, you know, getting to a place of stability, okay, or commitment, that's when this person backed out, okay? Because this person could have been someone who was afraid of commitment here, all right? Maybe this person has a habit of being with casual relationships or being in casual relationships, you know, all this while here. But this person got very drawn to you because um, you made them emotionally so happy, okay? And now that you're not there in their life, this person just feels empty. They feel like an empty tank, okay? One more card for later. One more card for later. One more card for later. Yeah. Right now, they're not making any move towards you, okay? Because they're watching you from a distance. This person sees you as marriage material, like wifey material, husband material, okay? But the problem here is right now, they're just watching you. They're just trying to gather as much information that they can, okay? Because this is the place that they are in, okay? That's the kind of place that they are in. They want to make an offer to you, but they don't know how to, okay? Because right now, this person is not being able to gather or muster the courage to come towards you, you know? It's like, what do I say? How am I supposed to approach Libra, you know? Will Libra even give me another chance here? That's all they're fretting about, okay? They are freaking out and um, keeping tabs on you constantly, okay? They're keeping tabs on you on a constant basis, that's for sure. But they realize. Right now, I, I guess it's more like if there is no communication between you guys, it's that point of realization that this person has reached to, that it was them because of which everything screwed up, okay? This person could be having a habit of blaming you for things, okay? What's the strength in you? Yeah. See, you gave up on this connection here, right? You did. This was a very, very, um, this was a wish fulfillment, okay? This was like the Ten of Cups kind of relationship in the reverse. So, yeah, this is something that made you very happy too, once upon a time, but now you don't see any potential here. You're not putting in any of your effort. You're not putting in any of your energy in trying to make this relationship work out anymore because you're giving up, okay? You're giving up. You can't do, deal with this anymore, okay? You've tried to protect this from 
a lot of people you've tried to guard your relationship but now there we just there's a point now where you're just reaching a point of burnout okay now you're just like screw it empress please empress yeah you're no longer you're putting all that work and effort into yourself you're no longer putting work into this person or this connection or not trying to make this person not trying to make this work out anymore okay Nine of Pentacles in reverse, just get it out. Someone here who was making themselves a priority all this while is now wanting to make a you a priority, okay? This person has been wanting to be single all this while, okay? Uh, they wanted to be the um, uh, center of attraction here. Now this person is fed up of being single. And instead of being single, they'd rather be with you than be single, okay? They're fed up of being, you know, um, uh, alone. I mean, so, so what happens is this person was, it was very convenient for this person, right? They were single, they were being single, even if they were in a connection with you, okay? And um, they even got the emotional wolf, emotional fulfillment from you, okay? So um, they were okay with that package. But once you realized that you were the only one who was giving and they were the only ones who were, and they were the ones who were taking and you got nothing back in return, that's when you pulled back. You put in your all into this connection here, but it just seemed to go nowhere. And you didn't get the rewards of the work that you put in. So you were like, you know what? That's okay. That's fine. I understand what it is. You've learned your lessons and now you're just focused on you. Ten of Pentacles and Repairs. Someone's thinking about taking action towards you, okay? Because there's a point of, the, because your connection had everything. I'm also getting your connection had a lot of emotional happiness out here. Both of you all, okay? You both were on the same page once upon a time. But I feel that the this point was just not reaching that point of stability, okay? It just wasn't reaching that point of commitment here with you guys, okay? It's like it was almost there, but it didn't happen, you know? And you kept going in circles with this person here now i feel that you're doing a lot of this person out here is is taking a step back and they're doing, doing a lot of thinking uh you know a lot of resting uh, about wanting to take action towards you okay yeah. because this person's zoned in on you they're only looking at you i feel this person here is trying to uh, they're holding back communication but they're determined not to open the truth uh, um, come towards you with the truth but the truth is that this person wants to take action towards you but they're just not doing anything about it okay I'm getting a lot of guilt, okay, this person feels a lot of guilt that they didn't make it work out with you and now you're just like sitting there on your throne looking all pretty, you know, and um, just doing very well for yourself and they just cannot believe you, you're doing so good without them, they thought you'll always need them, what's the four of thumbs, what's the four of thumbs? See, things did work out between you guys, right? There was a breakup here and now this person does not know how to make it out. They don't know how to make up for the loss. What, what, one more card for the things. Yeah. All they can do is they feel all they can do is wish, hope and pray that things will work out, okay? All they feel they can do is just keep a positive attitude that it's going to work out between you guys one day. But still not putting in the effort still not putting in the effort okay it's like yeah yeah i regret i didn't do this a lot of could have would have should have but never did anything about it okay so yeah they're just hoping wishing praying for a reconciliation hopefully one day there will be some divine intervention there'll be some divine help that will just come in and make things happen for them instead of them taking action but when it comes to taking action they're just still taking a step back what's the six of pentacles and repairs I mean, someone here misused uh, their power, okay? Someone here um, took advantage of the other person here, okay? This person here, they, they, they're still not making a decision here. They're still not making a decision. One more card, six of pentacles. Yeah, they're See, someone here who has a lot of love for you, okay? They, this person secretly knows that things weren't fair. But they still won't make a decision. They still won't make a decision. They're still fearing that huge change. Because this is someone here who needs to make a life-changing decision. Okay? This person needs to choose a left or a right, in or out with Libra. Okay? And right now, they're 
uh, you know, just sitting there on the fence because they're scared. They don't know what risk to take, okay? They don't know if they should completely come towards you and commit to you, you know, and make things right and take action towards you. Or should you, should you, they just like completely let you go? But the problem here is they don't want to let you go, okay? Because this person has a realization that you're the one they want, you're their wish fulfillment. But it's the vibe, it's the energy that this person's getting from you, okay? Which is like, dude, am I even going to stand a chance with Libra? Yeah, this person is just keeping their feelings to themselves here. Someone secretly trying to make a decision, okay, but they're not telling you. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person can't move on from you. This person can't move on from you. This person is probably wanting to come towards you with something solid, something long term, okay? But this person can't move on. They're coming back. They're releasing themselves from whatever situation that they were stuck in. They're coming back. This person could have been stuck, say, due to fear. They could be other people's opinions that they were stuck in. They could be stuck in um, other people's opinions. Uh, could be an issue here, okay? Or this could just be their own mind frame, okay? Where, oh, this is not possible with Libra. That is not possible, you know? Someone who need, who's in their own way all this while, okay? But they realize all this while that if I need to get to Libra, I need to cross through a certain point, you know? I need to um, push myself, you know, out of my comfort zone if I want Libra, okay? And that's something that they are trying to do. So it's all there, you know? The very... This person is very, very close to taking action, you know, very close to taking action because I feel that they're almost done thinking about what they want to do. But um, they will. Eventually, they will, okay? See, the will of fortune at the bottom of the deck here. I mean, something's changing, okay? This person's changing. They're learning their lessons here. One more card for the king of pentacles. Yeah, this person's obsessed with you. They can't let you go. They're obsessed with you. They feel a very strong connection. They're addicted. They're obsessed, okay? And when you're obsessed, you can't think straight, right? You know what I'm getting? This person wants the stability. They want something long-term with you, okay? They're obsessed with you. They're finally releasing themselves from uh, any kind of toxic behavior, okay? Or releasing themselves from a third party could be anything but the problem here is they still won't do what they're supposed to do because see we have the six of swords in reverse right which means that someone needs to go through something they need to distance themselves from something that's bothering them or something that's coming between the connection here they still won't do it they're still going in circles you know they'll you know they're just running around in circles they're not getting to the point where Libra is available okay or where they could just go and smoothly approach Libra and that's all because they're just still in that mind frame of like oh if it happens happens or i'm just hoping that libra will come back to me one day ace of cups yeah this person has a lot of love for you they want a brand new emotional circle with you clearly right because we have the nine of cups in reverse why is that here yeah? why is the nine of cups in reverse this person's just emotionally codependent nine of cups in reverse yeah see how much regret this person has i was i was very surprised this card wasn't coming out <laughs> They have a lot of, lot of, lot of regret, okay? This person's dying with that emotional loss. You know what? The situation can be resurrected, okay? They can uh, bring this relationship back. But the thing is that they're in that low vibrational energy. From the four to the five year, this person's just going nuts, okay? They're just going nuts. So this person out here is constantly grieving a loss, okay? Grieving that loss that they had. Two of cups, bottom of the deck. This person feels a very strong connection to you, okay? But um, they want this very bad, okay? They want to make this work out. They know you're the one now, okay? But um, they're constantly crying over smell, like, you know, uh, investing their energy into something, investing their time and energy into something that's over and done with. It's like still that energy of would have, could have, should have, okay? But it's like, why not try and make it happen once again? You know, get that courage. But that's not happening because with the strength in reverse here, this person still not being able to do that. One card. So. <laughs> yeah. They want growth expansion with you. This We have the Empress twice here. This person wants growth expansion with you. And you are the other hand here. You have to completely stop putting in the work on this. On growing this connection here. 
this CEO, like I said, this CEO is marriage material, okay? And they want a reconciliation with you. Okay, they do. They want a second chance to make this right. They do. They're finally listening to their higher calling. They're finally listening and uh, no more ignoring the signals, okay, from the universe. The universe could be talking to them, giving them signals, synchronicities in some way, okay, that you are the one they need to approach and you are the one for them. And I think they'll find it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Didn't even ask a question. The four of wands came out. I'm just going to take it here. This person wants definitely a future with you. They want something long term. They want marriage commitment. Think of it the way it resonates. But this is the card of commitment, marriage, stability, security. There's something that they won't be able to provide all this while. It's like all this is their intentions. But I want to see action. Okay. And in that action part, we have the four of swords with the king of wands here. What's the sun in reverse? Huh. See, they're, they're, you, you are fed up, sick, and tired of putting in all the hard work and investing into a connection that was too slow moving. Okay. This person out here was probably very deeply committed to you, okay? But on the superficial level, they kept showing you that you weren't a priority, okay? Their money, their career, their goals, their family, their friends holidays everything else was a priority but you okay and you were pretty fed up and tired okay and now you've reached that point where you just cannot see any uh anything to come out of this relationship nothing good okay yeah and now i think you refuse to work with this person here now you don't want to work with them okay because you the guys just seem to be um butting heads you guys just, you know, you, you keep hitting a wall with this person, okay? Every time you try to work it out with this person and now you see things very, very clearly, okay? You see things for what it is. And you're no longer trying to avoid or ignore the truth of the situation. You see the reality for what it is here. And with the sun in reverse here, I feel you're just, just lost. You've just lost all hope and faith that it'll ever work out. What's the page of swords? What's the page of swords? The page of swords is the most annoying stupid senseless and foolish card i've ever seen here a lot of people think that the page of swords is you know like i mean what i have learned is now that a lot of people think page of swords is oh yeah see this person loves me they miss they miss me they're watching me that's not what this person is doing unless you have cards which support the missing part or the loving part this person out here is just keeping an eye on you this is someone here who's so immature that they won't take action and they will see that entire life passing by and they still won't do anything about it okay the days will pass months will pass and they still won't do anything about it they'll just keep watching from a distance okay like now i'm gonna talk now i'm gonna talk now i'm gonna talk but they just never talk okay and whilst this person here just does what they do best you're choosing to move forward and you're giving up on this connection you're turning your back to the situation okay you're no longer interested and you're just wanting to move forward here why because you feel that's where your victory is that's where success is and now you're very determined to move forward and uh, not stop anything or, or this person to stay in this connection you're not stopping this person from uh, this person is not going to stop you from moving on is what i'm getting here because you are very very determined here okay you have that courage and you feel you're on the right direction here so you you made up your mind and you're moving forward no longer waiting for this person this person can can, can just keep watching you they can you know keep an eye on you good for them but you're like you know what i'm done i'm done because this person out here constantly is closed off they won't talk it's just in their intentions and it's like okay so whatever you feel like putting your intentions into action let me know <laughs> yeah so but you're moving on you're just not interested because this is all they do okay that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. And do check out the link below. Bye-bye. Link below. Bye-bye. Link below. Bye-bye.